as a member of this house, it's mandated under the Constitution to bring this motion. I will therefore, Mr. Speaker, with your permission, lay the documents before the house and, be, and beg to give notice of the motion. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. I hand over the members. documents to the clerk. Yes, Ruku, what is it? Order, members. Ruku, what is it? Honorable, Honorable Speaker. In relation to the motion? Yes. What is it? Honorable Speaker, I rise to seek your clarification on the special motion for the removal of the Deputy President. Honorable Speaker, as you are aware, four seats in the House are vacant following the resignation of the Honorable Obio Wadai and Honorable John Bardi upon being appointed as cabinet secretaries. Further, as you are aware, the seat of Magarini constituency was declared vacant following a successful election petition. The Baniza constituency seat was also declared vacant following the unfortunate demise of our career. In this regard, we are now 345 members in this House and not 349 members. Honorable Speaker, in this right, what the threshold shall we, shall we shall you use to determine whether the special motion? <laughs> what is the threshold, Mr. Speaker? Shall you use to determine whether the special motion meets the constitutional threshold? Differently put, Mr. Speaker, to pass this motion, shall we require two thirds of 345 members or 349 members? In my view, faculty seats should not be counted. Order. You can't ask a question and answer it. <laughs> You cannot ask the question and answer it. Honorable Speaker, let me prosecute. I'm trying to prosecute my point of order. In my view, faculty seat should not be counted in determining the voting threshold. Further, I wish, I wish to seek your clarification on whether our proceedings are varied in the right of the four can sit. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. You've made your point. Bashir.